And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Joke's on you! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. But this is about as big as it gets right now. And the question in everybody's mind is, can she respond to this pressure? There's no doubt in my mind she can handle this, Michael. You don't reach the top of the mountain without knowing how to handle pressure. Did someone call for a Glamazon? Beth Phoenix carries every team she has ever been a part of. Glamorella, the Divas of Doom, the NXT commentary table, being married to Edge. Every time, she is the dominant member of the group. She's a multi-time women's champion, a Slammy winner for best female competitor, and she's a Hall of Famer. Corey, what does she have to do to leave here tonight as champion? She's going to need to be absolutely perfect. And I'm not talking about near perfect or close to perfect. She absolutely needs nothing short of perfection to knock off the champion here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. And introducing the champion, from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida, the SmackDown Women's Champion, L. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her... All the way for the top! Ooh. Tattooed with a double axe handle. Breaker. Four. Five. And she's back in the ring now. Six. 
Guys, when Beth Phoenix defeated Candice Michelle for her first women's championship in 2007, I think it was clear to all of us that she was going to be one of the greatest champions WWE has ever seen. Two. Three. Can you imagine the celebration that will take place probably into the wee hours of the morning? If we crown a new champion here tonight, not the first time. All the way from the top rope. Salt! Did you see that height? Beth Phoenix in some trouble here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Look at this. Snap suplex. Submission time. It's the Dragon Sleeper. She's got her where she wants. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Close quarters, D strike. What a shot. And she's getting fired up here. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Of course, Beth Phoenix's championship legacy is impressive, Michael. You already mentioned her first women's championship, a crowning achievement for the Glamazon. Keep in mind, Saxton, Beth went on to capture that same women's title a handful of other times, adding the resume to an already impressive career. Head crank. Double underhook. Butterfly DDT for the win to retain the championship. Still too fresh. Elbow smash! The challenger's hopes are slipping away. It'll be a minor miracle if she turns it around. Wicked body shot. Oh! Again! Spinning kick to the gut. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. <laughs> another uh, one for good measure. Expect to see that. She's got kick to the midsection. Arms trapped. Oh my goodness. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Talk about dismantling your opponent. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Goes into the pin. The champ kicks out at two and a half. Hey, I guess you never know. Oh, it didn't go as planned, Dick. Whoa, it's another reversal. Really working over the body. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstar efforts are not lost on this crowd. Phoenix has got it. Delivering the suplex. Changes her fortune there. The champion into the cover. One, two. Guess not. Evading possible disaster there. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex! Planet face 
first. To the gut. Double under hook. Are we going to see it? Got to be careful not to get counted out here. Back now inside the ring. by Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix makes her pay there. Yet another counter. Like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Beth Phoenix is in a bind. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. She's in control. Uh oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Falcon arrow! Nothing's going to. Here's the pin. Title on the line. One, two. Well, that was a close call. I got to tell you, I thought she was done there. Double underhook. Butterfly DDT. To the gut. Double underhook. Are we going to see it? Another one bites the dust to the champ. Oh, man. Can Beth Phoenix recover from this? Let's look at the replay. Some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. I'm not easily impressed, but that was one of the most entertaining matches I've had the pleasure to see in a while. Who could forget this? Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, L. She certainly looked good in that victory. I strongly suggest Beth Phoenix go back and watch this match. There's plenty that can be learned from this loss. That's a title match you're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen.